everyone, it's Leanne again. I hope you are all well. Um, I thought I'd come on and just uh, show you how to do a few of the stick pins that I do, how I do it. Um, I'm not a professional, um, but I do like to put different and unusual things together and colours, of course. Now I've got plenty of stick pins here as you can see, these are acrylic ones, I got them from Jennings 644 and we've got, and she also has these ones which is the pearl ones, um, yeah, I'm missing that, there you go, <laughs> 644, Jennings 644 from England and I do buy a few things from her from time to time. Now I have been doing a few flowers, uh, this one I've just finished with some of the laces that I purchased. Uh, it's just a tiny little flower with one of those beautiful ribbon roses in the middle. Um, as you can see, it's a small one. As you see, it can fit into my hand very easily. There's one I was just doing the other day from Jennings 644. I did that one as well. Just a few ribbons and a bit of lace. Um, I did this one, which is quite pretty. Uh, it's a lemony colour and beige colour together. That's quite nice. And the others I think I've shown you, oh, I haven't shown you this one. This one is uh, some material that I cut, it's got a bit of lace on it. And I just put a centre, some centres in there, like that. Hope you can see that. The others I've shown you before, I'll just show you quickly again, which is the chiffon ones. And oops, and the pink one of course. Chiffon pink. Right, so I'll just put them out of the way. That's what I've been doing. Um I also have finished the bag that I said I was going to do. Here it is. Um, it's got the handles on it now. Hang on, I'll just see if I can move everything else over. I'm running out of room here. Um, now I've finished knitting it. It's a baby wool or a baby um, blanket wool. Uh, it's very thick. Now I've put the handles on it, as you can see and a little bit of a lacy flower there. I don't know why I did that. I just wanted to pretty it up a bit. But other than that, it's uh, really works well. Quite nice. I like it. And um, I'm glad I made it. So that's what I finished. So let's get onto these stick pins. And as you can see here, let's have a look. I like to put diversity in colour. Now this one here, is an acrylic stick pin. I got that from Irene from Seriously Scrapping, I think she's in Melbourne, here in Australia. Um, it's very light and very long on the shank there. Now I normally put a little bottom or flat bottom there for things to ease off on to or glue too easily. Now you put a tiny bit of glue around there and hold that on just for a few seconds like that. And then I'm going to stick this beautiful green crystal. It's an old, old crystal from some jewellery that I had um, and it is a beautiful colour. Now I'm going to put another dab of glue there. Can't see, I'm sorry. Another dab of glue there, just a tiny bit. I'm going to hold that on tight. Do it again, just like that. And then I'm going to put a spacer on, um, a spacer any sort of spacer, it doesn't matter what colour, 
a tiny one. It looks a little bit more. That one's a very dainty spacer. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue again there and hold that on. And then I'm going to put another bead on. Like that. I think that's a seed bead. I think. Like that. Now you have to be very firm with them. You need to be, use your little finger muscles or your hand muscles hold it on. Now I think I may have missed this out from the top. I'll have a look what it looks like. Oh it looks nice. It's a little petal um, spacer. I think it'll look nice under that seed bead. You hold it on for a few seconds. Just like that. And as you can see Oops, I dropped some beads. There's that one there. I'll put it there so you can look at it. Maybe that way. You can see it. Right, the next one I had on was pink. And I thought, what well, goes with pink? Well, purple does. Purple goes with pink. Now, this one here, I think it's a Jennings 644 uh, stick pin. And it has already. Um, the bottom on on it, that cap there. Can you see that cap? That's it. So then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there, just like that. Just a tiny dab. It's enough to hold them on. I'm going to put this beautiful purple bead on that I found. Oops, hang on a minute, I've just got to find where the hole is. Oh, it's hard to tell. Very hard to tell. I'll just turn this overhead light on so I can have a look. There it is. Right. Got it. Now you may need to put more glue back on that because I couldn't find the hole. It's very sunny here but my eyes are bad of course. <clears throat> right there we go. I've glued that on. And that's just a beautiful little purpley colour. B. Now I'm going to put a bottom onto that B like that, just a little tiny one and I'm going to put a little bit of glue and hold that on and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to put this beautiful seed bead on that's very similar in colour I'm in a moment and I'll show you and I can get it oh it's hard to see There we go. So there's that. It's pretty. So that's another one. So I just like to go for colours and shape and um, anything that looks dainty, pretty, doesn't really matter. Um, this one here's a black. Oops, is a black, oops, nearly dropped that, <laughs> a black stick pin. Um, I've put this cup on it um, just to make it look a little bit prettier. So I'll just throw that up there and hold it on, just like that. Oh, that came off. I wonder why. Anyway, I'll do it again. There we 
again. Let's so hold on this one. And there we go. And then I'm going to put this beautiful bead on. Now this bead is, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's quite pretty. So I'll put another dab of glue on. We'll put a bit more glue on that because it's so big, it'll hide it. So there we go. Then I'm going to put on this bottom piece here. Which, hang on a minute, I just better grab that before it flies away. There we go. So this is just a bead cap. I'm going to stick that on as well to cover the bottom of that last one. Just like that. It's not going to glue on because I took too long um, putting it on. That's why I got that up there. Anyway, put some more on. Don't be afraid. Hold it up there very tight because you want that sitting on the bottom of that bead. Alright. Not too bad. I'm going to put this beautiful bead on. Now it's it's a bit turquoisey or a turquoise or teal type colour. You might, yeah, teal. Um, I want to put that on after that because I just like the um, colour. Then I'm going to put a bottom on that one as well. I'll just put one of these small gold ones on and I'll hold that on as well. Just like that. Right, it's stuck. And then I'm going to put another turquoise bead on but a different sort, a smaller one. Um, but it's, I think it's acrylic, this one. Um, I'll hold that on very firm. Like that. And then I'm going to put a bottom on that as well, which is one of these gold ones, the same as the other one. I'm going to hold that down very firm as well. Just like that. Just hold it down. And then I'm going to put a different colour all together. Something that looks, you know, I don't know, what do they call that? Um, colourful, Middle Eastern type colours, Moroccan or whatever. Just to give it a different colour. And that didn't stick, so I'll do that again, just like that. And that seemed to work. Right, so that's the other one. It's got the yellow on it. So I'll just put them down so you can have a good look. There's that one. Then there's that one. It's a purpley pinky one. And then there's a nice green, green one. So anyway, they turned out all right, and I'll use them somewhere in a book or something like that. Now I've got these ones here, I thought I'd do an acrylic one, oh, just one, um, I think I will put, oh, let's see a cap on that maybe, let's see if a cap fits, you know one of those caps I've been using, the goldy ones, and something like this, let me just see if it fits first. Oh yes, that fits very well. As you can see, it fits. 
There we go. Like that. So we'll glue that on. And we'll hold it on very thin. It's a bit upside down, just like that. Till it holds, the glue holds. And then I think we'll put on a um, crystal. Mm, let me see what colour. Let's try this purpley one. It's a crystal. Um, funny colour. So let me just see if I can find the hole. Oh dear. I so bad. I so bad. Right, we could done it. Let me see. So I just glue that on. Hold it down again. On it. Now you can have a um, non-stick mat on and that's what you should be using because of the glue. So there you go. That's on. That looks pretty. Um, I might put, I'll just see, a spacer. A little dainty spacer amongst that, which looks like this. Hang on a moment. This looks like that. It's a tiny, tiny spacer. All right, we'll just glue that down as well. Looks like that's come apart, so I'll glue both of them down at the same time. Let's see how we go. to work. Tiny bit of glue on it but that's okay. It's to be expected. You do get the glue off later um, if there's any residual left on it. Um, then I might put a crystal on. Something dark like this purple one here. Let me see if I can find the hole again. Yeah, so that one looks pretty too. It's got the purple one. Right, so I am going to glue that down as well. Just like that. finished as well. So here we go, there's four different ones that I've done. Um, they needn't be elaborate or anything like that. Yeah. Pretty simple. You just need a glue gun if you've got a bit of gun that is. Or just use uh, any sort of glue that you can use for jewellery or for beads or for metal. So we have that one. It's very pretty, isn't it? Just put that on my tree. I have that one. Um, and we have this one. So you can use them anywhere uh, in the books, anywhere you want. Um, I've got a whole lot of stick pins here that I can. <laughs> I need to use up. I've got them all. They only came today. That's why I'm doing a tutorial. Um, so there we go. There they are. The ones I made just made today. And um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you make your own. Bye for now.